Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Cook and Eat with Nanu. Today I'm going to be making Sri Lankan style crab curry requested by Sarah in Manifi. It's the crab season now, so I have two different kinds of crabs here, Dungeness and stone crabs in this curry. This curry I'm going to be making with thick coconut milk, comes in a can. And if you want a lighter version, you can use this one. Uh, no, I'm not advertising or anything. Actually, this one is a powder. You can mix powder with warm water for your preference. And if you like a lighter version, use less powder. If you want a thick, uh, kind of medium thickness, you can use more coconut powder. So this one you can buy from uh, any Sri Lankan store or you can look online. And the curry I'm making with my own curry powder I made at home. It has cinnamon, cumin, uh, coriander, um, cloves, uh, cardamom, all the spices in there. And I will be making, combine all these together, the thick coconut milk and this curry powder. I'm going to be making a delicious Sri Lankan style crab curry with moringa leaves. If you don't have moringa leaves, you can use cilantro. It's delicious too. So I hope you join me today and let's get cooking. We can cook together today. Thank you. Make sure you rub all inside this leg to get all that um, stuff out. There's nothing there, but you know, still wash them really good. And here too. One time is enough. And this stuff too, I don't, uh, I don't know what they are. Wash inside this leg.
I'm gonna go over all the spices I will be using in my crab curry. I have two teaspoons of chili powder, I have two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of turmeric, two teaspoons of salt to taste. Um, I have black pepper, one, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of mustard, and I have one teaspoon of fenugreek and four teaspoons of my own curry powder I make. And I have some curry leaves here, two pieces of ginger and some moringa leaves. If you don't have moringa leaves, you can uh, get cilantro and some garlic, onion, and I am gonna be using two teaspoons of coconut oil. And I have four cups of warm water, four cups of coconut milk, and this is the coconut milk I usually use because this is a really thick uh, coconut milk and it makes a delicious creamy crab curry. So um, let's cook together. Add your coconut oil. So put your coconut oil here, and once it's hot, um, add your mustard. And add your chopped ingredients, onions. curry leaves, ginger, and garlic. Um, let it cook a few minutes. Now you can add your spices, uh, fenugreek, and your chili powder. Paprika, your black pepper, turmeric, and your curry powder, salt about one teaspoon, don't add too much from the beginning, keep stirring, mix well. Now it's ready to put your coconut milk. Add your coconut milk. Now I'm gonna add the water, the four cups of water. It. it smells good in here. It looks really nice. It looks
remember I only added uh, one teaspoon of salt so I want to make sure this one has enough salt so I'm gonna taste and see whether it has enough salt uh, it needs little bit more salt so I'm gonna add a little bit more to our taste keep stirring I'm gonna be adding the moringa leaves right now to it. Keep stirring. Now I'm going to add all the crabs in here, one by one. So after 10 minutes, you should rotate your crabs, the bottom crabs come to the top, mmm it smells good in here, I wish you were here with me cooking, um, and the top crabs go to the bottom, that way this all the crabs will get the flavor from the curry and these moringa leaves. Um, if you want more salt for your taste, you can add more. Make sure you get them properly mixed. The bottom one comes to the top. The top one goes to the bottom. It's been 10 minutes now, it's ready to serve actually. Before you serve, if you want, you can add lime juice since it's a seafood. Lime juice and seafood goes very well together, they are delicious together. I usually add my lime juice when I'm eating. Um, I'm gonna turn off the stove and let it rest for like about 5 minutes, that way all the curry will settle. Now come the rewarding part. I get to try my crab with milk rice. Milk rice is my favorite and my husband's favorite too with the crab curry. This is the perfect milk rice. This is the consistency you want. You get some gravy, the curry, and the crab. This is how you eat crabs. Most of my friends like this way, and I actually want to use my fingers to eat the crabs. But I'm gonna try the milk rice with the curry first, see how it is. Delicious, it's perfect, really good. I hope you try this recipe and enjoy with the family and your crab right now. You have to use your fingers. Mmm, it's really good.
it's mild creamy very delicious i hope you enjoy this remember don't forget to subscribe my channel give thumbs up thank you for joining me cook and eat with nano thank you